Hey, what's up guys? My name is Royce and today we are talking about the new Bridge wireless keyboard for the 11 inch iPad Pro. Now, if you're not familiar with this company, Bridge has been making keyboards for the iPad for a while now, and they're really known for giving your iPad that MacBook like feel. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up their newest offering for the 11 inch iPad Pro. So let's do it. So open it up here and we're just gonna turn it like that. Make sure it's framed properly, there we go. And we see the keyboard obviously. And we got a nice little diagram up here that tells you what each specific button is, it looks like. All right, well, let's take it out. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this feels nice. I like this. This feels good. Definitely going to add some weight to it, but, uh, you know, if you want that, that nice build quality. And you even see this indentation MacBook all the way. You already know what's up. And we'll take out some more documents. Got the quick start guide. Shows you how to set it up. And then the other manual. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know where this is going. Now let's open up the sides here. Oh, okay, it's all just one piece. All right, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take it out. I think it's just the USB-C cable anyway. And this cable's actually USB-C to USB-C, which will allow you to plug straight from the keyboard into the iPad Pro. So I think that's it. I think we're good with that. Let's look at this quick start guide. Place keyboard on a flat surface and rotate clamps upright 90 degrees. Okay. 90, 90, it's 90 enough. Insert iPad into clamps until fully seated. Let's go. Placing in clamps. Okay. Nice, nice. I'm already loving it. Already loving it. So this is the bridge keyboard, which is awesome. All right, so let's break down some of the features that it has. There's actually one more thing I forgot in the box. There is a magnetic back cover. Should just be an easy snap. Easy snap. If I put it the right way, then it's an easy snap. Where? How does this, okay, cool. There we go. If you know what you're doing, it's an easy snap. So we got the iPad locked in. Close it up here. And I can already tell this is gonna add some weight to the iPad, so if you're somebody that likes to carry it around in their hand a lot or something like that, this will definitely start um, getting heavier over time. But that's kind of the trade-offs you have to go with if you want this more premium laptop look and feel for your iPad Pro. So if we open it up, and the keyboard touts 180 degree viewing angle, which means, what what do you want? What, what do you want? You want it all the way closed? You want, it, you want it all the way back? It's whatever you want to do. It's whatever you want to do. Viewing angles galore. Only thing my concern is if this will kind of fade over time, where right now, except for that. So right now we're good here. It's pretty sturdy, it's pretty locked. Right here it's pretty good. Okay. All right, so once you start getting back there, it kind of just starts getting a little wonky. I mean, I don't know when you would want it to be that extreme, but it seems like right about here is the sweet spot before it starts kind of like teetering over. Yeah, well, that's a little bit better. So I hope that um, the sturdiness of the tilt um, can keep up over time because we've seen that a lot, even with laptops, how after a little bit, just doing this, you're just starting to start seeing. Nobody likes that. Now you also can put it into tablet mode and to do that, they say to take off the magnetic back cover. So we'll do that. We'll take the iPad out and just flip it over like this. So now I have it flipped over. So now you can watch a movie like this or you can Put it all the way down. And now you're in tablet mode. So if you draw, this is this is you know, this is where you want to live. This is what you want to do. So to turn on the bridge keyboard, you just hold down the power button for three seconds. You see a green light. And to turn off, do the same thing, hold it down for three seconds, and you'll see a red light. And we off. But we're gonna turn it back on because we need to use it. The one thing I want to test right away are the keys. And this is a full-size keyboard that we have, so let's just do some fake typing. Testing the keys on the keyboard to see how I like them. Um, didn't mean to do that as a header. But I like the keys. The keys are nice. They're not too stiff. I think I prefer them over Apple's keyboard. There's some give here, which depending on your size, I mean, all this is personal preference you may or may not like, but it's not too stiff, not too loose. I think it's a nice in-between. Yeah. Oh, I could type for days with this. So, this is fine for me. The keys are also backlit, and there are three levels. It also has dedicated iOS buttons, so if you want to change the brightness, you can lock 
unlock, change volume here, play and pause music, activate Siri. I won't talk to you, Siri. Get out of here. So there are two ways you can connect the bridge to your iPad, being the USB-C to USB-C cable. Got a USB-C connector here right on the side where you can plug in the USB-C cable. So if you don't want to mess with Bluetooth or your keyboard is out of battery, that shouldn't be a problem. You just do here, connect here, and yep, we are connected. So obviously this looks super wonky, so you wouldn't want to do this um, unless, like I said, it runs out of battery or whatever the emergency may be where you got to pull this out. But the other way is, you know, good old Bluetooth. And what battery percentage are we at here? The bridge is at 79%. And that's great because <laughs> one of the cool things about this keyboard is the battery life lasts 12 months. So an entire year. So once you charge this bad boy up, you're good. So this USB-C cable, I don't really know when you'd want to use it because you charge it up, you're good for the year. And as an added bonus, I uh, finally got my Magic Mouse to work. So I have the iPad OS 13 beta on this iPad. So I just wanted to show what the potential could look like if you pair the bridge keyboard with the new uh, mouse support that's coming in the new iPad OS. So got it linked up here. So you can see here, obviously this was like a real laptop. We'd have some here, but we don't have anything there. But we got this here, go to websites and things, but really I'm looking at, I'm always gonna go back to it, y'all. I'm always going back to LumaFusion, just know that. Just know that that's gonna happen. Bam, right here, we can see this setup. I could be doing this, doing my thing, be you playing. Other apps too, once they all support it. And we can be doing here, doing other things. I can do this, I can either use the keyboard to cut like that, or I wanna Command Z, or if I wanna do it with my mouse, there we go. We can go here, cycle through all the footage here. We can fast forward, we can connect. Files and the transferring. So yeah, so I think you guys can get it how now with the new mouse support and with the bridge keyboard, you don't have to do a whole desktop setup like I did in my last video. Although if you wanna see it, go check it out. But if not, you can easily get the same type of feel with a keyboard like the bridge keyboard. Um, and pairing a mouse. I'm so glad I got this mouse to work. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know the struggles. So all that's fun, but what's the price? So if you're interested in getting this, the bridge costs $149 if you want to get it for the 11 inch iPad Pro. They also have one for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro that is $169. And both of those sizes come in silver and space gray. And as you see here, this one is the space gray model to match my space gray lifestyle. The bridge also comes with a lifetime warranty, but you have to make sure to register on their website within 30 days. I knew that, I didn't find it because I looked in here. All right, and that's my quick look at the bridge keyboard for the 11 inch iPad Pro. So I'm gonna do a comparison video between this and Apple's smart keyboard. So if you wanna see that, give this a thumbs up. But right now I have to say I'm really liking the bridge keyboard, but we'll see how that holds up over time is the weight gonna be a factor because smart case you know it's nice and nice and light nice and light so we'll see and you know see if the hinges hold up all right but hopefully you found this video helpful if so please like and subscribe and if you have any other questions that i might have missed or you're curious about please let me know in the comments below you can also follow me on instagram at rower beckley which is my personal or at rocky a pro which is my professional you know or you can do both there's no pressure here but you should do it until next time, again, my name's Royce. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna type nonsense on this thing. Just absolute nonsense. Don't from the bottoms of space, great life stuff. It doesn't work. Perfect. <laughs>